At an early age, Tevin Dramod Campbell developed a strong passion for singing. Campbell started singing gospel in his local church. Tevin grew up to be a well-known musician and was loved by many. But his life was getting out of control behind the scenes. Tevin Dramod Campbell was born on November 12th in 1976. He grew up in Texas and in his local church, he sang in choir. His mother, Rhonda Bird, also sang gospel in church. His mom was a big part of his career as she was the one who encouraged her son to start singing solo. In 1988, his mother set up an audition over the phone with Bobby Humphrey, a jazz performer who recorded 12 albums and founded the jazz label Paradise Sounds Records. She was also the first female instrumentalist signed by Blue Note. Tevin sang so well in that audition that he got to meet individuals associated with Warner Bros. The young musician was getting somewhere. He even got to meet with Michael Jackson along with his brother and mother who were all flown out by the King of Pop. Before he knew it, the singer was now signed to the Quest record label thanks to Saida Garrett, Benny Medina, and Quincy Jones. It started when Saida saw Tevin's performance in Wally and the Valentines, which was his first major role. Saida was really impressed with his performance and spoke about it to Quincy. Record executive Benny Medina suggested that Quincy should use Tevin's vocals on his upcoming album. After Tevin was signed, he became Quincy's protege. After leaving Texas for California, Tevin sang the lead for Quincy's Back on the Block album, and this very album sat on the top of the Billboard's R&B chart. The success didn't stop there, because when Tevin decided to release his own album, T-E-V-I-N Campbell, in 1991, it went platinum. At this point in his career, people fell in love with Campbell and other musicians wanted to collaborate with him. He went on to make an appearance on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and was even featured on the soundtrack for Graffiti Bridge. Tevin was also in cahoots with Prince, who recorded a song with The Young Star. The Young Star told Vibe magazine recording the song was very uncomfortable. The track was for a more mature audience as the lyrics were a little explicit. Fans had to buy the full album, I'm Ready, since the song wasn't released as a single. The lead track, I'm Ready, took the ninth spot on the Billboard chart. In 1995, Tevin took a step out of singing and into acting voice acting. He voiced the character Powerline in Disney's animated film, A Goofy Movie. He took a step back when he performed songs for the film's soundtrack. His third album, Back to the World, which was produced by Puff in 1996, was a major flop. How Slowly, the fame started to fade. His album started to get worse and worse, and Tevin couldn't understand why. He said that he knew he had to step away from the business. It seemed like the star was now getting caught up in the lifestyle. He started hanging out with older people and at the age of just 14, he'd drive to house parties even though he didn't have a driver's license and began drinking even though he was only 14. I'm not too sure where his mother was, but it's probably not the best idea to leave your kid unsupervised especially when we know the kind of things that happen to kids in Hollywood. There's no doubt that things, terrible things, happened at those parties where people were under the influence and high. Seven, but we're not friends. Him, him and Latoya were friends.
How does a boy with a voice like that, that had the records that he had that could have easily transformed into one of the greatest male vocals of all time, end up prostituting himself for drugs and change on Hollywood Boulevard? How does that happen with a gift like his? Even though most of what Jaguar Wright is saying seems to be most likely true, Campbell didn't agree. Campbell's, who was pursuing legal action against Jaguar last year, response was according to Jaguar Wright, I was a sex worker on Hollywood Boulevard. It's called online defamation. Do not test T-E-V-I-N. My lawyer is on deck. I would take that YouTube vid down if I were you, Tevin said. There were also rumors that Quincy Jones essayed him as a minor, which Campbell denied. The drinking and partying was behavior that was the start of his rebellion. After Campbell released his fourth album in 1999, he was arrested for driving to school under the influence and solicited himself to a policeman. As a result, Tevin was locked up in jail and fined around $1,000. According to police reports, Tevin was also in possession of a small amount of marijuana, and he was also ordered to attend Narcotics Anonymous meetings. Campbell was also ordered to an AIDS awareness class due to the solicitation, and this left people to speculate about his sexuality. During an interview, Tevin's sexuality was questioned, and he answered, it's nobody's business what I like to do behind closed doors. After the arrest, people were still questioning his sexuality, but Tevin came back with an answer. During an interview with Sister to Sister in 2003, Tevin denied being gay, but admitted to being a freak. When he was asked if he enjoyed women and men, his response was that he was trisexual. I guess this meant that he was experimenting with both genders to find out what he prefers. Have you ever loved somebody? In 2005, the singer made a comeback. Tevin appeared on the Broadway musical Hairspray as Seaweed J. Stubbs. A few years later, he released another album. Tevin also appeared in the BET Awards. Then, in 2014, after stating that he had no interest in singing another record contract, he changed his mind and signed with Spectrum Music Group. The five-time Grammy-nominated artist has had his ups and downs throughout his career, but it seems like all is well now. While it seems like he's keeping a low profile, his fans continue to admire him and remember Tevin Campbell as a legend. That's all for today, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I also want to thank everyone for the influx of subscribers, and I will also be linking the rest of the video with Jaguar in the description below. Until the next video, stay safe, stay great.